Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and we're just going to have a little play today. I um, have to get a couple of things to finish the fern uh, journal, so I need to make valentines. I don't know about you guys, but I am behind, behind, behind. <laughs> so I've glued together three book pages to kind of do that collaging thing like um, Rachel, well it was um, Carol Law. And then I saw Rachel do it, and then I saw Gail do it. So this is um, something everybody's probably seen. But, so go ahead and get out whatever you're working on, and we can just kind of hang out and craft because I, you know, want to use up some of my scraps, and I want to make some valentines. And I thought it'd be fun to just collage a whole page and then cut out squares to put on cards. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with it. Um, I made a whole page of it and I cut out some tags and things and it does seem to go pretty fast so it's kind of nice and I'm not going to ink I'll ink the cards after I finish them so hopefully that'll make it a little faster but yeah I just wanted to use some of these fun valentine's papers that I have and make some valentine's hope you guys are doing awesome this is my first day um, in my new job which is an awesome job hanging out with you guys and I ran to the mail early this morning so um, people will be getting their packages that they ordered and whatnot so that's always good and so now I'm making a video I had to prep for a while because I you know didn't have all this stuff out I had put it away just to make room for doing the fern journal and so then I had to clean up that because I had made a huge mess yesterday I kept working for a while after I did my video and um, so yeah so this is my digi old love notes this uh, postcard is from after midnight so really cute um, paper she's got and I will link all the people um, that I use below because I'm going to use some of medieval mirage as well so I'm just using up some of the spare pieces that I had left like they might be whole sheets but they're stuff that I printed out and I didn't you know use at the time so that's kind of what we're using but this will be fun because you'll just kind of get a mixture of all different stuff on the little cards so and I want it to look valentine's -y and stuff like that so that's a good one to use right there and I've got some Medieval Mirage scraps that I used. And I'll put down in my description box below uh, which kit, because for some reason I'm drawing a blank right now on that, even though I just used it for that Valentine um, journal. It's amazing how your brain goes, because it's like I go from one, you know, kind of one thing to the next. So <clears throat> I forget the names of things. I probably should have looked that up, but I just didn't think of it. I was just trying to get off to the mail and get my mess cleaned up from yesterday. Ah, I already need a new page. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Hopefully it'll be a little warmer here today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was bitter, 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 and that wind was unreal. So that stopped at least, if nothing else, at least if the wind's not blowing, it's not as bad. <clears throat> Here in Idaho, <clears throat> I thought it would be even fun to like put some of these. Um, I think I'm just going to cut them out though because I don't um, want the black on, in particular on there. You know, I'm just going to tear it with my tear ruler. And I get these tear rulers off of Amazon, and I did leave a link in my video yesterday, but I'll try to remember to do it again today, because I know a lot of people are interested in these. Oh, this one says, it's the Feminine Finesse. That's what these, all these scraps are from. Medieval Mirage Feminine Finesse. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. <clears throat> they are very pretty. Oh, come on. I just don't want the black in. I mean, I don't mind like that little bit. It's fine with the postage mark kind of thing, but I don't want it around the border. It's 
so yeah, I don't have a whole bunch to talk about today, but at least we can just kind of hang out and play. I got some of my old love notes here. I'm trying to think what I want to use. And I got up this morning and got moving early, which is something that I need to keep doing, you know, regardless, because otherwise I will be behind again. So I want to make sure that I'm, you know, doing what I always do, basically, just get up and get going. Which can be tricky when you work at home and <laughs> you get tempted to just sit around and drink your coffee and do nothing. I mean, I did have a cup of coffee, but I did the same as I always do, so. <clears throat> All right, what else can we use here? I have this, um, I don't know, I don't want to use that. Hmm, 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 don't know what I want to use. I've just got a pile of papers next to me. <laughs> it says Medieval Mirage. This one isn't Feminine Finesse, I don't think. I can't remember which one this is out of. But as I've said lots of times, all of her papers are gorgeous, so... She has a new one out if you guys haven't seen it. It's Sweet Serenity. It's beautiful, so check it out if you haven't yet. I'm going to do a journal with that coming up. try to stay on camera here. I moved it a little bit. I have to get that. This is just relaxing. I like to um, just collage. I just find it very therapeutic. <laughs> like these little cherubs. here but I don't know let me let me see I kind of want some music paper or something too I don't want to just do um, that so let me grab some music paper This is really old music paper. <laughs> this one up here. I like that edge, so I think I'm going to find what I'm going to put over here because I kind of want to keep that edge. So I'll put it like this over here. already. So 
we'll do it right about there. I'm just going to glue it over here. It's okay if I get glue on these pages too, so it's not a big deal. cover up those holes because they're just kind of cool but if I put this under it then that'll get covered let me see hmm 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 see you can put yourself in a conundrum there Somebody was asking me the trick to using these um, tear rulers, and it's really just making sure you're holding it down. And you guys have seen me if I'm not holding the bottom or whatever, and it slips out, and then you know you don't have it exactly the way you want it. So really, the trick is just making sure the whole thing is held down wherever you're tearing. You know, you have to move your thumb sometimes. So <clears throat> that's really all I can say about that and even then sometimes it gets messed up so you know you just don't know what I just want some of it here so that I can have this overlap they can be tricky and you know I've messed up lots of times and another thing is I've noticed if I use my glass mat <clears throat> it slides a lot so um, that's another thing that kinda this kinda rubber mat is a little bit better for that there we go that's what I wanted and then these guys I'll put them on after let me just get this one on See how it all starts for just <laughs> just trying to put down some cherubs, right? But I like this torn weird edge on this music paper and the little holes. And I know it's kind of silly because a lot of it isn't going to get seen anyway because it'll either not be on the tag or see, that's just falling apart um you know because of the way it gets cut or whatever so I don't know why I worry about stuff like that you should really just do it and not think a ton about it so that's the best way uh. why a lot of times I like to do it when I am watching television because it helps with the whole um, you know how you get too worried about where everything's going <clears throat> paper glued to my finger. <laughs> Great. It probably would have been better to print these out small and do this, but like I said, I'm trying to use some stuff up, so um, I didn't want to do that. I think I'll put that one right there.
And bigger pieces, like I said, tend to go a little better than the teeny tiny pieces of paper when you're collaging. I found, I mean, you know, everybody's got their own thing. It depends on what you're doing. If you're doing like mosaic type stuff, obviously you might want littler pieces, but for this type of thing, I like the bigger ones. Maybe we'll put another piece of music right here. This That piece is thick compared to that. You come over this way more. That'll just get, bring more interest wherever that's cut. And you know, you can fast forward through this part, I understand. It's kind of boring if you're not into it. I find it relaxing, but I know it might be kind of annoying to watch. So. I think most of you have said you like, you know, watching, but there might be people still that don't love that. I'm going to put this one. Ah, why I do that sometimes. Just the time it goes together just fine. Other times it's like it has to crease weird. glue the glue book to the collage, that would be bad. <laughs> I've got some of this mulberry paper from Cindy at Chopwood Creations. This would be kind of cool too. Color's great. Thank you so much for that. Happy mail, that was very nice. Very, very nice. Alrighty, what else can we put on there? Also have these that are the um, that I have. I like these stamps too. And the bow. It's kind of fun. needs to be cleaner to go on the edge down there. I don't need this. Like that. And that's after midnight. Design. after midnight design as well and so is this kind of like these I think I'll go with these because I just need that one little space there and I wonder why I end up with just random paper everywhere goes over here a little. Even though there's nothing on it, it's fine. 
sorry I'm probably off but I'm just gluing all right we got that little space um, maybe I'll use another piece of this down along there a lot of, of roses over there though let's see let's use this this. I'm going to tear off this top edge to give it the torn edge. I'm going to come further in because it's a little dark on the edges for what I want right here. I'm just going to do a portion. That. I'm almost out of glue stick here. I have another one though. Of music for down here. I think that was upside down. Not that it really matters. Okay, and we got this edge over here. stamps that was kind of fun I don't know I don't have very good sizes left Just did it. Wasn't holding it down well enough. I kind of feel like it's going to be boring over here, and that's going to be like kind of a whole section. So let me see if I can find something a little more interesting to put over there. is real exciting but I just want something <laughs> I just want something I don't know what I did it again it's usually that middle part and then I don't hold it down and it gets like a weird bow it's easier when you're not doing the edges I know that for sure but I think I'm just going to kind of that. I don't love it up there. <laughs> Are you screaming at me yet? Make up your mind! I'm just going to hang it over a little and I can trim it a little bit over there. I think it'll be okay once it's all cut. I 
I'm going to add some other things to it. Oh, duh, I already have that other one open. <laughs> and I need to use it up. Here higher. Put something else there. Don't like it. I'm not liking that. They're not big enough. Something about this that's bothering me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this on the edge right here, and then I'm gonna do something else. I'm just making a mess with the glue. I think it's this the squareness of that. It's just really bugging me. So we're going to add some other things on here too. So let's get this under control here. And then we will add some other things. I have all kinds of other things here. I don't want the same design. I just brought out a pile of stuff because uh, this would work. Just is paper that says I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. That's been die cut. And I don't even, I don't even have this die cut. This was a friend's die cut that I borrowed, so I'm not even sure what it is. But you know, any heart die cut that you have would would work. That's the awesome part about having friends that craft because you can borrow their stuff, they can borrow your stuff, and then, you know, it's just nice. I don't have to buy a million things. So I'm just going to go around with hearts and stuff and add those as well on top of that. And I'm getting rid of that glue stick. It's done. get glue on top of something at some point. These are all things that, like I said, I've just had um, in my Valentine's stash. That when I put gold all around the outside, I was going to use it for something. Don't know what. At some point. That one's got something on the bottom. When it got punched out. Do I have another one of those? 
these would work, but I want I have a littler one somewhere. It's from my digi when I shrunk it. And this is cute too, but it's another heart. Where did that go? Don't you hate that when you know something's in your mess but you can't find it? get a hold of it. So I can use my arms. Yeah. Put that little guy there. I do like this love one though. That's cute. Going out of screen, huh? Mm -hmm. Those are Lily of the Valley. It's my birth month flower. It's the only one I know. <laughs> I don't know what other ones are, but I do know that one. Um, I think this, because it looks really old. Cupid's cute. Oops, don't want to cover that rose up. We can do another one of these because they're not going to end up obviously on the same card or whatever, so. Hair better. Ah, my hands are sticky. Okay, let's see. I don't know if I want really any more. I could put one of these on this. And like I said, you're not going to know where it's going to end up getting cut, really. I mean, I guess you could plan it, but I'm trying to not plan it. I'm going to actually do it a little skew. This is pretty. It's got, um, this is from Medieval Mirage. It's got a dove on it. Can't tell the direction. Yeah, I guess it goes that way. It does go a lot faster if you don't ink, but I struggle with that because I've wanted to ink several times, so. <laughs> just really like the ink, I have to say. It just really adds something. I wish I didn't because that would sure make my life easier. Like that one. I 
and some of this might be a total waste of time because like I said it might get cut off or whatever but this is definitely good for scrap busting stash busting whatever you want to call it because you can just use all kinds of random stuff that you have getting cut but okay so what I'm going to do now is go and cut this because I'm going to use my uh, die cutting machine I think I'm going to use one of these things yeah I might use the big one so I can get more in each but anyway I'm gonna go cut it into as many squares as I can and then I will stitch around those and I'll be back okay hi everybody I'm back so I just went and stitched just a straight stitch around each one of those I'm going to ink them real quick and I went and got out some ribbon and stuff like that to play with and so I'll just go around these real quick just to give them a little definition on their edges and like I've said before, I don't stitch on camera because of where my sewing machine has to be located so that nobody's tripping over the cord or any of that kind of thing. So, um, But it's just a straight stitch all the way around and I'm no expert on sewing. I like just taught myself basically. I have a Singer heavy duty machine and um, I just taught myself how to straight stitch around stuff and I've watched like Gail and um, Rachel at Roxy Creations you know just to get ideas on how they turn corners and do all that kind of stuff but I am by no means great at it so I can seem to manage to do the straight stitching but I think it's just one of those things that you either have to have somebody near you to show you or watching those two actually helps quite a bit but um, or you just got to play with it and figure out you know what tension you need on your machine because every machine is different and some machines are finick more finicky than others and so yeah there's just all kinds of things that go into that fuzzy bits all right, so let's get the card bases, and I just have plain white card bases, and I may put some book page on them or something. I don't know. I haven't decided that part yet. But basically, what we're doing is just putting these on here, like that. And then I have some different trims and whatnot that we could um, add to them to make them, you know, fun. But and like if when you cut them, it's always hard to decide where to cut them. <laughs> for sure but like you know this one the top of that got cut off but you can add other things to it like I could take like this little girl or something and add her on there that would be cute or like this funny couple they're I don't know they're like in in boxes or something or bags it almost looks like they're doing that thing where you roll you know down a hill sort of thing but they're so cute looking at each other so like something like that would be really cute on there but um, these are just the background you know and like I have the one with the little cherub well this one you could pretty much just do that one like that and then the one with the cherub this one I probably wouldn't cover because I don't want to cover up the cherub I might add a few other little things but anyway so that's kind of what I'm thinking when I started making these. I like this little girl with the cello, which you can all probably imagine. I just don't think I can get it to fit on a card. 
because the jello is so big. <laughs> it's just adorable. Ugh. Yeah, they're all like oriented this direction, so I don't think that's going to work. But I do like that other little girl. She is cute. I kind of like these guys on here, except there's that. I don't want to cover. I think I'm going to kind of cut her out and then I'll see. I mean, and she doesn't have to go in this one. And I'm not going to, I'm just going around kind of. It doesn't have to be super perfect. This is pretty thick cardstock, so it can be tricky to get very much of the little ins and outs there. But yeah, I just thought it would be fun to do some valentines. use these um, almost like Tim Holtz paper dolls you know if you cut out these little characters and you could also use Tim Holtz paper dolls so there's always that she's very cute you could add some lace go here and I need my book oh, I've got a mess because I've added lace and fabric and all kinds of stuff over here and I left my glue open uh, why do I do that all the time all the time you'd think I'd figure it out one of these days all right where did I put my art glitter glue there it is this is our glitter glue with the metal top. And I get it on Amazon. Surprising. I know that's where I get a lot of my stuff. It's just easiest for me and I just don't, I mean, I've got some stuff locally, but I haven't been able to find art glitter glue locally little bow out of some, um, what do you call that stuff? E, seam binding, that's the word I was looking for. And I think I'll just maybe do a little stamping on there. That's an old Stampin' Up! stamp. And if you have, you know, the Tim Holtz um, colored uh, stamp pads, you know, or whoever, wherever, those would obviously be good to use too. I just don't. I mean, I do have some colored ones, but I just, I want to use the... Um, Vintage photo. Okay, let's open it this way. I'm actually going to stamp this off because it's been kind of crazy and it's not going to be perfect because I didn't try to get everywhere.
because you're only going to see bits and pieces of it. So it's really not a big deal. Um, I thought I grabbed that little one. Because I did. And I'm just barely, you know, touching different parts here. There's like a hole in the that place. I probably still didn't quite get it, did I? Nope. Because <laughs> you can still see. That's fine. I did that. And if you'd like to just white, you know, obviously just leave it white and plunk down your um, card. like this bow and my sister made these little crochet hearts so I think I'm going to put one of those on there ah, maybe <laughs> it's the only thing with gluing some of these things down it's always tricky And these are all going to be for people that, you know, I know, so I'm not that worried about them getting too thick or any of that. And then I have some words somewhere. And I just printed these off my computer. You just go to Word and, you know, type out a bunch of words, all different sizes and whatever fonts. And um, and just print them out. And you could do them in, you know, different fonts. There's all kinds of fonts out there. Or I know there's a lot of people that sell them, you know, words, so you can always do that too. I'm going to put one of these little pink flowers over by that heart because it's the same color just to draw a little attention over here. And these are Paper Studio, so I got those at... Hobby Lobby. Only two of them. I 
No, nope, I think just one. All right, so there's one. I'm going to finish the other ones, and then I'll come back and show you the completed cards because I know, you know, it kind of gets tedious, but you guys obviously get the idea. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, hi, I'm back. So here's one of the cards. I didn't want to cover up um, the cupids and all that on this one, so I just went ahead and wrapped some baker's twine around it and tied a little bow and added a be mine. And then, and I'll stamp Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. This one, I just added the picture of the couple, one of the crocheted hearts, some um, um, like eyelet, avocado dyed eyelet lace from Denise. And then this one, I added the couple and these flowers. This was already here and that was already there, so that worked out really well. And then this is the one that we did together. And then this one, I didn't want to cover up this little guy, so I added just some little letters um, that I had and then just a ruffle of fabric there with hearts on it that I got from Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts as well. Thanks, Denise. You helped me make my Valentines. <laughs> all right, so that's all. I, I didn't do this one. This one I'll probably use for um, a journaling card. But anyway, I will chat at you guys soon. Bye-bye now.